Hi, my name is Laura and I'm going to show you altered binder ideas. So what I'm going to do to alter my binder is put decorative paper on it um, in an organized, nice way. So what you'll need to do this is six different pieces of paper, I'm sorry, seven, well six pieces of decorative paper and then one piece of white paper or cardstock, which is going to be sort of your label for the binder. Um, get things that you think go together. I like these sort of in the purple family. Um, but yeah, whatever you think will look good together. So to start off, we're going to take one piece for um, one piece for this center center line, and then the other three are going to go on the front and back flaps. So we're going to seal this down first so that it looks neat. So get a hot glue gun or whatever glue you're using and press that down. It's okay if a little bit of the top and the bottom um, show because you know obviously your paper is not quite as tall as the binder. I kind of like that it's got a little bit of binder left to it. So I'm going to flip this over and now seal it down on this side as well with some glue. Some hot, hot glue. All right. Cool. And the good thing about hot glue is that it dries fairly quickly. All right. So now we're going to open this back up and lay out the other pieces. So we're going to want them to go the long way. The reason we're using three is so that they will cover, it will cover the whole, the whole front page. Um, otherwise your paper will not be big enough. So we're going to lay it, lay it out like this. So this is going to be where your information goes on the white part. And then here's the other, the other stuff. So we're going to start from the back and work forward. And just lay down some glue again. You can also just lay it right down on the paper. However, you don't want to burn yourself. And this one we want to go all the way up to the top and in to that edge. Great, and now we got that down. So we're going to lay down the next layer. I think I'm going to go right on the paper for this glue right on the paper. All right, so lay all around the outer edges of your paper, lay your glue down. Ah, but not all the way out to the side because it's going to fall off the side, but that's okay. All right. Well, there's that. And now our last piece. And I'm going to glue around the edges of the binder itself for this so that this one stays in place. And you get a little bit of leeway with moving it around, moving the paper around after you put the glue on, but you kind of got to move fast. Okay, so there's the front. And now we're going to do the back so that it matches with our other paper. So just lay it out like this. You know, the same sort of configuration. And then glue it down. But you want the lines to match up. Or maybe you don't. Maybe you want to go the opposite on it. Um, whatever you want to do is fine. And then what we're going to do after you've done that backside is take your scissors and trim off the edges. I'm 
might be easier to do looking at it like this. And if you want to, you can go further um, with designing this and you can do things like um, use ribbon around the outside to clean up your edges or you can, you know, attach other things to it. You can write on here. That's what that was for. You can like ribbon this off, ribbon around the edges, or you can just leave it as is. Um, maybe secure this down with a little bit of extra glue so that it'll stay for as long as you need to use this binder. And that is an altered binder idea. I'm Laura, thanks for watching.